What's up, guys? I'm gonna do this review. I told you I was gonna do a little bit ago. Now it's a pretty simple review, so but it's something that's simple and can be potentially very useful for some people. So this is Highlight Hunter. It's supposed to be the fastest way to sort through clips. All right, so it's pretty simple. All you do is you film all you want. You don't have to worry about deleting clips. And when you film something that you want to use, you just cover the lens temporarily with your hand for like a second. And then when you go back home, you plug your camera in, it's sourced with all digital cameras, and uh, you put it in the software and it finds all the clips for you that you bookmarked with your hand. So that's pretty much it. It's really simple. This was also featured in Transworld Magazine because I guess it's fast and could be very useful for some people. So that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to tell you a little bit. This is probably, you know, best for people with a uh, GoPro or, you know, uh, point of view cameras who just like the camera's pretty much rolling for a long time and then they're going to have a lot of footage to sort through and then like they see something cool riding their bike along or something and just cover it up and then it'd be easy to find later. For me, I don't use it very much with skating, and for a lot of people who film skating, because I'm a skater, that's what I do sometimes, uh, usually when they're filming and they have a clip that they don't want, they just usually delete it on the spot. But some people don't because their camera is slow or they're just too lazy like me. I mean, I don't really use it when I'm skating, but it could be useful for some people. Now, <clears throat> to test this out, I just filmed a little tech deck video, like a couple clips, just because I was too lazy to actually go outside and do it myself, and uh, or too lazy to go film skating and remember to do this. <clears throat> but yeah, you can see me covering up the lens, and I'm gonna show you a couple screenshots, just what it's like. It's very simple to use, very user friendly. And last thing there really is to say, there's a free download for anybody to try. But with the free download, there's a little watermark in the clip, so it's just something to try out. And if you like it, it's $30 for the premium version. So I know myself and a lot of cheap people probably wouldn't pay that, and they'd rather just do things the hard way. But for anybody who's interested, you know, maybe like some older people who like to bike and not very tech savvy, this is something that's possibly for you. So now I'm just going to show you some screenshots, talk a little bit, and then I'll show you the clip, and that should be it. Alright guys, so now I'm just going to quickly show you what this software looks like and how it works. Pretty simple. So you open it up, you get a screen like this, and basically you got a choice to scan a single video or a folder of videos. Then you can have your highlights saved to the same folder as the videos are already in or into a completely new folder, and it won't overwrite the originals. I mean everything's pretty self-explanatory. I shouldn't even have to explain this. Okay. So right here you've got the settings, you can figure out you know, how much the video you want to capture before the lens was covered. It goes from 5 seconds to 10 minutes, so you, know, you can adjust that however long your highlight is. You got bookmark detection, you can make it strict or medium. If it's strict, sometimes you're going to have like a bunch of highlights, like when the camera lens was accidentally covered up, and sometimes if it's really loose, you might not get a highlight that you covered you know and then accidental highlights uh, ignore the highlights in the first 10 seconds of the video because sometimes like you cover the camera lens when you turn it on and you know what that's about it and then you can send you know information to highlighthunter.com if you have any advice for them or whatever so that's about it guys now here's this video that I made using this software and it's of me tech decking Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.